Hello everyone, it's me again, Steve Doge, back with another update on the, uh, uh, I guess on the Xenoverse update, right? But ideally we want to avoid the Dragon Ball Fighter situation at all costs because that is the actual worst case scenario. Um, I'll get, I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, people have been obviously talking for a while about the Xenoverse update and how they think it looks. A lot of people are not impressed with, um, actually I think Solo Place has a few tweets we can pull from, right? Shout out to the homie for, for being uh, ever so funny, but I'm pretty sure he put, yeah, <laughs> Is this a joke? They added grass, and you planted grass. It's like you know, these are these are all good jokes. Um, for for I mean, a pretty simple point to describe what how it's going, right? We'll read some of the some of the tweets about what people think about it for now, um, in a bit. But let's just focus on the fact that the universe is getting an action update, and it doesn't seem like it comes with anything else so far. Now, I was hoping that some of the things in the next gen update would actually be things that they put in uh, Dragon Ball The Breakers. For a good example, Dragon Ball The Breakers has a, a lot of different moves or a lot of different versions of moves that might be in Xenoverse. A lot more moves are anime accurate too, um, which I think would be pretty cool, um, as well as things like Faster Father Sun Kamehameha's and all that stuff. But we'll probably have to wait till a, a next gen gameplay trailer to see if that's all true. Oh, uh, that reminds me, Dragon Ball The Breakers also has an anime accurate final Kamehameha, which is, you know, blue instead of being yellow like Xenoverse has been for the last eight years because it was yellow in the files of Xenoverse 1. So Final Kamehameha has been yellow for eight years in Xenoverse. Okay. Um, Goku Black Scythe is also in Dragon Ball uh, The Breakers as well as Cell Second Form, Freezer Second and Third Form, etc, etc, you know. Um, so that makes me extra curious how... Uh, I wonder if all of those things are going to get added to, uh, to Xenoverse's next-gen version, right? Um, other than the fact that obviously, again, you know, everyone's debating on the graphical ability of the next-gen version being a little bit lacking for some people's taste, and I understand that. But at the same time, I am mostly focusing on how, if the game will actually improve or not, you know? Ideally, we want to avoid a Dragon Ball Fighters situation. Um, I'll get, I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but let me read out a few of the people's thoughts here before we go. Um, Creeps said, for those expecting an entire visual overhaul, they are going to be 100% realistic for you all. There are far too many models and textures in this game to improve every single thing. As someone who's modded this game before, it's not worth the effort. So, there you have it. From someone who's modded the game before, and this is from modders, by the way. Modders go out aggressively out of the way to usually do 110%, right? 120% of their potential, even, um, when it comes to Xenoverse 2. So, for a modders outright say changing every texture in the game would be a nightmare. Well, there you go. Um, and for people who always believe that the modders do work harder than the developers based on, you know, the quality that the, mod, uh, that the modders put out, in a short space of time versus what the devs put on a long space of time. If the modders can't do it, the devs can't do it. It's as, it's probably just as simple as that. So, um, we might only get just grass blowing in the air. And maybe a few, like, slight visual overhauls or re redos. Maybe they'll just the way glows look in Super Saiyan forms. I don't know. Um, but yeah, according to him, or someone who's uh, modded, again, our creeps, right? Uh, it, it's not going to be worth the effort. Some people... I've also been saying, um, and you probably saw this a few times, uh, trash, because <laughs> they're not really hyped for what's there. Uh, people just want to know about DLC 17. There are other people who are wondering how this actually, you know, changes uh, the game or if anything from Breakers will be implemented, which is again what I was saying. Don't forget, Breakers also has Weiss's clothing available to custom characters, something that Xenoverse still doesn't have. Breakers also recently gave us time rings as well for our custom characters. And again, I get time rings would be kind of hard to see if they were on your custom character in Xenoverse 2. But not only does it add a lot to your character's overall hand design, in photo mode, time rings would go insanely hard, and you guys know that's a fact. So, the fact that we uh, we, we are missing a lot of stuff in Breakers is pretty tragic. Um, but yeah, uh, best game <laughs> best game just got better. You know, there's there's a, there's a lot of different points, but let's let's talk about what's going on with Dragon Ball Fighters real quick, because Dragon Ball Fighters is kind of a disaster, and Xenoverse 2, I don't think Xenoverse 2's update will be as bad as it. However, Xenoverse 2 devs do have a track record of disappointing us whenever possible. So I wanted to spend some time quickly talking about Dragon Ball Fighters uh, and its very unfortunate uh, rollback scenario. Um, Fighters did get a next-gen update too, right? But I, I don't think it's... It hasn't been marketed as much as Xenoverse's. They were mostly marketing the rollback, but we, we, have, a, we have a few funny videos um, talking about it with the whole, oh, what, it's just an ordinary Dragon Ball Fighters rollback and then it, it looks like... Uh, it looks like this, you know? <laughs> Um, you know, it's, it's just very funny seeing all the things people have to say about Dragon Ball Fighters update. And, I mean, the Xenoverse 1 in comparison looks like there's not a lot going on. If it's just that they add a few much, like, a few more, like, leaves and grass blowing in the air, then it's just nothing. But I, you know what, I, you know what, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be, like, 
a simple like a minimalist but i might just prefer the nothing that xenoverse 2 gives us in comparison to the game just becoming even more unplayable and even worse like i'm pretty sure uh, well i mean i again I'm, i've never really been a big dragon ball the fighters fan right um but other people who were fans of fighters probably just don't actually have a game to play right now <laughs> based on how bad the rollback is right for the game um when you don't have all of those massive errors and glitches happening on your game apparently it's just worse than it was in the beta um which is shocking to say the least but oh also another thing rollback is not compatible with circle party matches six player pvp modes or party battle raids so all of those videos you guys love like free idiots and uh life errors group taking on raid bosses um i do they have to go play the old generation version of the game to do will they have to boot up their ps4 version of the game or just their ps4 to do that because clearly it doesn't work with rollback the rollback network system is not compatible with some of the game modes in dragon ball fighters the circle party match mode which allows up to six players to participate in a single match and the puzzle battle mode which allows up to three players to cooperate against a powerful enemy are both limited to delay based netcodes um damn I mean, I, you should be able to swap the netcodes from delay-based to, to rollback-based, right? I assume you can. Uh, hopefully you can. Because in, in uh, Breakers, you can swap from crossplay to um, just only the same system, like, as much as you want um, and whenever you want. So that's, you know, that, that's convenient, right? Pretty weird that Breakers is the one that wins in this update. Meanwhile, Dragon Ball Fighters gets images like this, right? If you guys are wondering what's happening in this image, by the way, let me just explain <laughs> So, something about the fighter's rollback leaves every single asset in the game that's supposed to disappear on the screen. So, the Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta up here are supposed to be in Gogeta's intro. But they don't disappear after they fuse. They just stay on the map. And these are all of Krillin's after images. You know, every time he goes, after image! And the after image is supposed to disappear after its attack is finished. Or after Krillin does a fake out. Well, they're all here. And so all these damn Cybermen from Nappa, who's already been dead... If you look to the top right, you can see that Nappa actually is dead. And the Cyberman asset stayed in the game. So, that's fun. Um, there, there was another really shocking clip of a Great Ape Baby. But, oh, here it is. Alright, uh, I'll probably just let you guys watch this clip. Because it's actually magical. No way. Does the monkey stay on screen? Nah, there's no way. Run. No, 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 no. Move back. Move back. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. No! So it's it <laughs> sorry this, this clip this click this this clip cracks me up I love it um I uh <laughs> Xenoverse I don't think we'll get anything that bad but guys let's let's also be real Xenoverse has a very unique ability to always disappoint the player base um so it probably it it has okay here are the two routes we have for Xenoverse they'll either somehow really disappoint the player base or one they will um just do the bare minimum and they'll just be like okay there's a few more rocks in this base maps right and oh look there's wind vfx on the sky maps and there's a tiny bit of grass on pod landing it's like okay that's basically nothing but i'll take the faster loading times at least in exchange for the fact that i don't get my games um looking like a uh, looking like this so you know I mean, I think we could all agree that if there was just a giant T-Post Great Ape Baby in the middle of any map in Xenoverse 2, it would make the game harder to play even if it didn't affect the performance at all because I, I just don't want that blocking my screen and just being there. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what else to say. Fighters rollback, yeah. It's, yeah, best way to put it. Actually, fighters rollback. <laughs> it's quite tragic. Very unfortunate. Um, Dragon Ball Fighters, I'm pretty sure, was the most uh, widely regarded um, or like, I guess the most positively praised Dragon Ball game, right? Everyone hates Breakers, everyone hates Xenoverse. Um, I don't think there's any other game right now that I can think of. Fighters rollback. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I, I, I guess this will, I guess this will be a good place to, to, uh, end the video, right? And, uh, yeah, that will be it. Um, let's, um, let's actually look through the tweet one more time. I know Bandai did upload a tweet about it they've been tweeting a lot actually bandai god damn god damn you busy huh um they did uh where was the there is okay so um there is a lot about uh what's going on right now 
uh, when it comes to at least the graphics, right, all over the internet. But Bandai's only put out the one trailer. Again, I've already shown you guys the trailer. If you want to see it again, uh, full video is well, the full video is in my last video. Um, but the slight graphical updates is really just so far just a few extra like leaves blowing in the air, and they'll probably disappear after a certain amount of time, kind of like the confetti in the in the uh, world tournament. And don't forget, not every map is going to have this effect because what what is the tournament of power going to realistically get right? I hope a button to switch off Zeno. That's what it does need. Um, but that'll be you know what? Let's let's not go on for too long. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and uh, that will be the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then obviously again please leave a like in the video. Don't forget to subscribe to greatly support the channel. And leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Love you all. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you fellas all next time. Take care and uh, peace.